This is a short video about what quotient topology on a set is. So here's kind of the setting for what's going on in this section. You've got a topological space X with topology T. And then we just take a set Y. So I'm very purposefully telling you I'm not, there's no topology on Y right now, just a set. The other thing we've got in our setup here, let's say we've got a surjective or onto is another word for that, just an onto function from X onto Y. So in other words, every point in Y is the output of something from X is what we're trying to say. So here's kind of our usual picture. Um, you know, here's X and F spits out stuff that should land in Y. And here's the goal. What do we want to do? Remember, Y does not have a topology on it. I want to tell you about one way you could put a topology on Y. So given some subset U and Y, what are some criteria that I could say uh, U is open? What are some criteria that would say that U is open? So here's what we're going to say. We're going to say this orange set U is open precisely when its pre-image, which would be back here. I'll write it as F inverse U. So we're going to say the orange set U is open exactly when the red set here is an element of the topology on X, whenever it's open in X. Now, what we're going to say, or I guess we're going to define our topology this way. Is that what I'm trying to say? So the topology on Y that we're after is the following set. Fancy U here. So I'm down here now. So fancy U, and what is fancy U? It's all possible subsets of Y such that the pre-image of that subset is open back here in X in the topology that we know about. So it turns out that this collection of subsets of Y forms a topology on this space Y. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that the quotient topology on Y. So again, this is one way we can put some fancy topology on Y here. And we'll call it the quotient topology induced by this function. And just because if you look at how did we do that, to say this orange set U was open, well, we had to use this F to backtrack to this topological space that we know about. So that's what we'll mean by induced by F. F kind of determines whether U is open or not. Um, and now, what are some consequences of this? Oh yeah, some more vocabulary for us. So we'll say that fancy U is the quotient topology, and then we'll say that F, that function, we'll call it a quotient map. All right, so now some consequences of this. Maybe to remind you of uh, concept continuity that we've talked about quite a bit in this class. And so to remind you of that, we'd say a function f is continuous whenever the pre-image of an open set is open. In other words, if you start with something open over here, when you backtrack, when you look at the pre-image, is that open in the domain? Well, what we just did, right? That's how we defined what it means to be open over here. So in other words, it's a, uh, oh, what's the word? Maybe vacuous or maybe trivial is probably the right word. Um, so it's kind of trivial that a quotient map should be open, just kind of by definition. This is open exactly when the preimage is open. So a quotient map is always going to be continuous. And uh, what else can we say about that? Quotient topology, so in other words, these subsets here, that's the finest topology for which your function f is continuous.